we always talk about fundamentals, whether it's the golf swing or putting. We talked about grip, stance, posture, alignment. One of my favorite things is a good grip, but having a good grip doesn't necessarily make you a good putter. And there are a lot of good putters that had odd sort of grips, but preferences, what I like, what do people like to see? Um, ben Crenshaw, it's like his hands belonged on the putter. And how did that work? What did they do? Uh, I'm doing a chapter now for an Arnold Palmer book. I'm studying Arnold Palmer's putting grip. He had an instructor named George Lowe. George Lowe used to make putters for Jack Nicklaus, uh, Gary Player. Lowe was an instructor. Lowe gave the tip to Arnold Palmer. He said, if you reached into your pocket and I got a bunch of coins in here and you were gonna pull a coin out of your pocket, where would you put it? You'd put it between your thumb and your forefinger. So that's my my trail hand, my right hand for a right-handed golfer. So when I put my hands on the grip, I have a lot of feel right here between the pad of my right thumb and that right index finger, your trigger finger. So that's what I like to see, a little bit of gap, but there's pressure right there in the pad of the right thumb and the nook right there of that right index finger. I like to feel like my fingers are all touching the shaft. So when I look at my grip here, you can see seven of my fingers. The only finger that's not on the shaft is a left index, but both thumbs are down the middle of the shaft. You can't see my left thumbnail. I like to see a grip where you don't see a lot of the nail of any of the fingertips. I don't like to see a grip that looks like this. That's really finger full, I call it. So that would be a nice looking grip. My left hand's a little bit strong. I put the pad of my left hand on the top, of the flat part of the grip. Again, a lot of feel here. So now if you're experimenting with different grip types to use, look, here's an old putter. This thing's an old Spalding HBA. It's got really old little skinny leather shaft. So if you wanted to experiment with more fingers on the shaft using a skinnier grip, I think that makes grips look better. All the old style putters, they had their hands forward because this putter had a lot of laugh. They were wristy when they took it back but that makes me feel like I have control with my fingers. Now, if you're gonna go back to more mallet styles, the big putters that are face balanced, thicker grips, those go together. My grip's a little bit different there because it's, I don't wrap my fingers around so much, so that's a different look. It's really a preference to what grip style you wanna use, but if you're talking best looking grips on people, I'd look no, uh, farther away than Ben Crenshaw's. I kind of like the way mine sits on there too. Feel a lot of it in my fingers.